Hello, welcome. I'm going to tackle a question in tachometric uh, module 3. So this is the last year question paper that I want us to come and look. So this is the November series 2022. A uh, diploma in building, diploma in architect, diploma in civil module 3. Uh, so here we had a simple question paper uh, that we had to see and we had to tackle. So module 3, uh, students should find it very easy. So the first question is a little bit simple. We were given 3 marks. Then we had a um, second question there. So that is question number 5b and in number 5b we can read so the following readings were recorded using a theodol a theodolite with study lines and the readings were as follows so there we have a vertical angle and we have staff readings then we have the values given there below for the angles that we are supposed to calculate and in that section uh, for those who had not yet uh, gone through uh, intergeometric we have a topic the last topic in tachometry so it is tachometry using the gentle method and that's where this question applies so if you go back and you observe the tangential method, tangential method of tachometry, uh, this example will be simple. So let's continue the question. The reduced level of the instrument height of collimation was 28.75 meters. The leveling stuff was held vertical. Calculate the horizontal distance of the staff station from the instrument and the reduced level of the staff position a total of seven marks um, and this example uh, so my learners passed 12 in this question paper of last year actually had zero refers from the first time so people fear tachometric i don't know why but if you just understand it just a little bit simple you can calculate the given data uh, so uh, if you had observed the notes that you are given either by your teachers in your institutions or by me uh, we have three cases we have case one where the angle of elevation is provided we have case two where the angle of depression is provided and then we have case 3 where we have both angles of elevation and depressions and this is what applies to that third case there so given those so our formulas for finding this are a little bit different from the formulas that we use in order to find the other stadia tachometric so those methods are a little bit different uh, let's go to the solution so I drew this uh, representation of the question so the vertical angle of the first we have a zero degree zero minute that means our instrument was not shifted either at an elevation or a depression angle our instrument was parallel to the line of axis of the same instrument so given that we have a vertical angle of zero and from that vertical angle of zero the staff reading was 3.64 then the instrument had an angle of depression or it declined so that will uh, that is a negative two point so a negative two degrees 36 minutes and the staff reading was 0 
representing that information here so the angle and the first point was on a straight line parallel to the axis of the telescope then the second the instrument inclined so the distance between the readings uh, as you can see there is provided so when you go back to your uh, calculations and you look at the example so the difference between those two angles will be given as s and s that is the study intercept of both them so the angle that we had here was also a zero so the instrument did not move so the difference between the first reading and the on the reading in the second point the difference between those two will give us the s that is the study intercept and uh, i have written there so here the reading was at an angle of zero here the reading was an ang at an declined angle of two degrees so the difference between those two will give us the s that we'll calculate um so when you move uh so the distance between the line of axis to the uh, second reading that will be v then the distance between the uh, second reading to the ground the bottom of the staff that will be r or h represented by the knowledge that you have so in this example we have a different formula so the horizontal distance represented by d is equals to s the study intercept over tan theta 2 minus tan theta 1 so our tan theta 2 will be represented there so our tan theta 1 also will be represented there so our tan theta 1 that is the angle that we got in first so when you move so s will be the difference between these two so s will be the difference between the values that were gotten in the stuff in the first and the second uh, positions where the stuff was so the difference between those two will be 3.12 so d is equals to 3.12 over tan uh, tan theta 2 so the second angle is 2 degrees 36 minutes then minus tan theta tan 0 so here tan 0 is just a 0 so when you divide using your calculator d will be 58.71 meters then we move to the second so we have gotten already there so d will be the horizontal distance between those points how we move to find the vertical distance and from our formulas our vertical distance uh, so v is equals to d tan theta 2 uh, here previously we had already calculated our d the horizontal distance here we have it so v will be d which is 68.71 tan theta 2 so our theta 2 is the second angle that we have there and v will be simple so v will be 3.12 meters uh, having finished that we move to the reduced level of the staff uh, so we go back to our question they had requested us to find um, so yeah so calculate the horizontal distance of the staff from the instrument and the reduced level of the staff position so I want to go and calculate the reduced level of the staff position so they want the reduced level of here the staff so here uh, we are we already have been given the instrument height of collimation so this whole line of axis the reduced level of that line of axis is 28.73 meters uh, so using that and they want us to find the reduced level of the staff so we need to find the reduced level of this bottom part here uh, so our answer will have to minus v and minus r or h simple 
so we go back to the calculation uh, having done that so the reduce level or the stuff will be the already reduced level of the line of collimation that we had been given minus v minus r we have already calculated our v here r uh, is the difference uh, so r or the small h uh, that is the reading that we had been given in the table for the last stuff reading that we had taken from there so having done that we finish our um, calculation so the reduced level of the stuff will be 25.09 meters uh thank you that will be